What I do is air quality research. We're really looking at the environmental impact of vehicles and industry on the composition of our atmosphere and what that composition does to human health when we breathe that in. We collect data from all over the city. We're monitoring on lamp posts, we're monitoring by traffic lights, we're monitoring where people are standing, where people are working. And our idea is to really understand the spatial context of the pollution in the city and how that changes over the working day, over the week and over the year. One of our projects is looking at modifying traffic lights so that our cars can be better managed and better directed around the city to avoid those potentially harmful hotspots where really high concentrations of pollutants can impact on people's health. We have two electric vehicles to do two fundamental things. Firstly, to develop, explore and understand the use of electric vehicles in our cities, how they mix with the fleets and how well you can use them in the infrastructure we currently have. Secondly, electric vehicles have the advantage they don't produce their own emissions. So we can monitor air quality, we can monitor pollution from these vehicles without producing it ourselves where we're trying to measure. So what we've done is we've taken these two vehicles and we've instrumented them with our own air quality sensors. Now our researchers and our students are driving around the city on standard university business, deploying sensors, commuting to and from university, and whenever they do that, they're measuring pollution concentrations as they go. We're then producing maps of those concentrations to really understand the city and how it lives and breathes over a week. And there's a fundamental societal benefit from what we're doing. We need this in order to thrive and survive. And air quality is one of those involuntary exposures that we get. People can't control always what they're standing next to, what they're living next to. So if you can produce a system that really lets people manage their exposure and lets the government do a better job of informing policy and informing management strategies, then you can really improve an awful lot of lives.